Okay, we're about to show you here a typical procedure on how to run a EVAP test. So on this vehicle session, we'll start by clicking on the toolbox. And from the toolbox, we're gonna select uh, powertrain. And then from the powertrain, then we select the fuel. And as you can be seeing, uh, we have the choice here for EVAP test. We click on that and then let the tool proceed. Okay, at this time I need to turn the key off. Just follow the instructions on the screen. Key on. We'll pause for a moment so you can uh, see the instructions of what about to happen. I don't have any codes right now to deal with. If you uh, tank level is just according to the specifications. So we're going to continue. I have prepared the vehicle as noted here. I verified all accessories are off. That's important. Since we is gonna do several tests with the ignition on, engine off, and that could drain the battery. So you don't want any added loads. is monitoring the uh, fuel tank pressure at this point. Notice it's verifying the fuel tank pressure reading. As we learned in earlier lessons, there's a fuel uh, tank pressure sensor. I checked the specs on this vehicle. It's a 23 gallon tank, so I'm gonna select 21 to 25.9 size fuel tank. I confirm that. We have additional instructions right here of what's about to happen. Hopefully we're successful. The machine from the screen is waiting for the engine RPM to stabilize. Notice on the screen, yeah, it did a test on the canister first that passed. Notice the RPM at this point. It uh, energized the first solenoid, so it's checking for vacuum in the EVAP system. Now it's testing for bleed up. See if the system is properly vented. Check in the fuel tank. Notice the time in seconds. Okay, the ignition off.
back to on let's check in the fuel tank pressure what is the time check and see if it's able to generate vapors in the fuel tank It would be nice if I could have a remote control switch so it won't be running back and forth to the truck. Turn the key on and then back to off. But nine, eight more seconds should be done. Let's see the results. As can be seen here, the test failed. So let's uh, click here, see what's next. Uh, this vehicle equipped with a capitalist fuel, uh, filler neck. The answer is yes. It could not obtain a target vacuum. A leak has been detected. So next I need to verify the flapper valve is seated properly and then we'll continue. 